Hi, I hope you're doing well. I'm a hoarder. I mainly hoard boxes, bottles and jars. And it's got a bit out of hand. I have two wardrobes where it started out that one of them was completely empty. And now they're both full and I'm squirreling away the boxes as much as I can to the point where like the front is like covered, there's no like gaps anywhere. And I've recently made, because all the boxes were spilling out onto the floor, so I've cleared out a shelf and I've got a whole pile of boxes to put away. Before this video what I did was I put the smaller boxes in the bigger boxes. So all the boxes you see are full, they're as full as it physically can be. It, they can't be condensed physically any further, believe it or not. There's a lot of them. I was thinking of filming this morning, but it was like actually really foggy. I haven't seen that in quite a while. And now it's just rainy and that's slowing down as well now. And hopefully the lighting will be okay. I mean, it's quite sunny at the moment. Um, but you know, I am in like a corner putting away boxes into a dark shelf, so. If you just want to go straight to the organisation of the boxes, then skip ahead a minute. I just have a few special mentions of boxes before they get put away. Because some I will need like further forward because I'll actually need them like to get them out at some point. Um, however, some I don't know when I'll ever need them, but when I do, I'll know they'll be there. And also, look at my hair. It's long enough to put in a ponytail now. The first special mention is a box I actually made from start to finish. It was in my DT lesson in year 8. I think it's pretty good if you ask me. If you don't know, year 8 is 12 years old. Look how neatly I cut out the felt. Honestly, I, I'm guessing the camera quality won't come out as clearly, but it's very neatly lined. I'm very proud of this box, even though it was just, you know, a school project. Oh, actually, with the mirror, it was, um... Oh, hello, that's you. You can see yourself there. But with the actual mirror, um, it, like, fell out. And then my dad re-glued it on, and I didn't know. And then, like, the glue came through from the backing to the front, which is why it's, like, damaged. You can see, like, there. But apart from that, it's still in perfect nick. Uh, I had to use a drill. I've never... What 12-year-old uses a drill? Um, yeah, and I'm pretty proud because I made this, so... First special mention. Second special mention is this box containing a few bottles. Uh, just a few. This is about a year's worth of conditioners that I've used. There's quite a lot more to go, so this will have to stay at the front. This lovely box here was a perfect size for holding all of my acrylic paints and I used for quite a while, like I'd say a good couple years, but I've now retired it because I've got a slightly bigger box that I'm using instead that is exactly the same shape. And so now I'm going to retire this one. This metal one, I think it's really beautiful, like it's actually like embossed so you can actually feel this which I like. It. And I think this is just really nice, like illustrations, the top's very nice. However, it doesn't fit anything. Like, it's too tall, it's too short for pens, because otherwise it'd be a really great pen holder. But anyway, I really like this box. It's just containing mothballs at the moment. Similarly, this box, also really nicely illustrated. And also illustrated on the side, and it's got like... And it's, I don't know what the word is, but it sticks out. And, you know, it's like this all the way around. And I think this is just, like, really sweet. So, yeah, I like this box. I'm not getting rid of it. It's containing... It's containing three other boxes, believe it or not. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, pretty boxes that I can't part with. quite a big shelf, look, if that gives you any scale. So it's like 70 centimetres? I don't really know. 
then I decided to keep like no music in the background because I like hearing the sounds of boxes. She did quite well. I've only got five boxes left on her. And the final one does not fit. That feels like such a relief, honestly. I can't believe how much floor space I have back. It's honestly a bit crazy. I forgot one. I missed one. Granted, it is small. Now I am officially done.
thank you so much for watching this was a bit of a weird video take care and much love everyone